Yeah, buddy, I got some new batteries. First off, for those of you who haven't seen the tour of my Bug Out Modal Van, I'll include that video link in the description and comment section of this video. I designed this van as a camper van to live out of this van with my motorcycle inside keep the motorcycle safe with me and travel across the country and live comfortably in this van and this was an absolutely super cheap build it's cost me less than ten thousand dollars including the van I wanted to tell you about some new batteries that I got absolutely amazing I've been waiting for these this is what's been holding me up on my trip these are battle born 100 amp hour lithium ion batteries absolutely the best batteries you can buy. I'm gonna tell you all about it. I'm gonna tell you about the new mods for my van, and I'm gonna give you some updates and tell you what's going on with my trip and how I'm planning it out. Stay tuned. Well, I got mold up with the bed up here. As you guys know, or at least some of you guys know, I have two 155 amp hour AGM batteries there, and I have another 155 amp hour AGM battery here. Um, the reason why I'm replacing the two there with these lithium ion batteries is because the AGM batteries you only can use like maximum 50% capacity. So you only can use about 75 amps out of each one of these batteries. As where this lithium ion battery, I can use the full 100 amp hour that is rated here for this battery. It does have reserve, so you're not completely taking it to empty. Uh, but you can use the full 100 amp hours with this particular battery, these Battleborn batteries. Uh, the only drawback with these batteries is that you can't take, the, it cannot accept the charge below 25 degrees Fahrenheit. So that was the reason why I decided not to go with these batteries in the past. But I changed my mind because I want to be able to use more of the battery, uh, have a more efficient battery. These are safer batteries than these AGM batteries. Um, but I wanted to keep one of the AGM batteries here um, just in case I do encounter cold weather where these won't accept the charge. I'll still have this AGM battery, this 155 amp hour AGM battery uh, to use. As you guys know, I have uh, two solar systems. I have like over 500 watts of uh, solar power on my roof. It's split into two separate solar systems here. Um, I have a 40 amp MPPT solar controller and then a 20 amp solar controller here. Completely separate. And I have, as you can see here, I have two different fuse boxes here, one for each solar system. So that if one fails, I can switch over to the to the other system. Uh, and that's worked out for me, I tell you guys. When I went out to Yellowstone, I got caught in the forest there and I lost um, some power out of these two batteries. And I was able to switch over my stuff over to this battery. I was here in Yellowstone Park and I tell you, I just came in from doing a motor vlog, riding my motorcycle out there. And I was concerned that I wouldn't get enough sunlight up here because of the trees and all. But now the battery is low, but I'm going to have to take emergency measures. Thank God I have a backup system. Is I went ahead and I switched the freezer over to the single 155 amp hour battery. And now I'm going to... And I was able to keep my stuff uh, in my refrigerator, in my freezer. So it came in absolutely perfect. I've got like two of everything with this van, guys. I've got two different uh, light sets here. So if one fails, I have a backup light set. But I'm really stoked about these new batteries. And these batteries, guys, get this, are one-third the weight of one of those AGM batteries, guys. This weighs like 30 pounds, I think 30-something pounds, and that weighs 90-something pounds for each one of those AGM batteries. So that's gonna say 120 pounds with these two batteries. I'll tell you guys what's really awesome about these batteries and why I chose them is because it, ha it comes with a 10-year warranty, which is unheard of, you know, for lithium-ion batteries or any batteries for that matter. Uh, but you pay for it. I mean, it's not these batteries are not cheap, but these are the best. I mean, this this these batteries have the best BMS system, you know, battery management system um, that keeps track of the battery, you know, computer in the battery to make sure it doesn't get overcharged and make sure it's operating um, at the correct temperatures. So absolutely amazing batteries. I have a link to these batteries in the description and comment section of this video. Uh, or you can go to the website. I'll include a link in this video. So right now, basically all I need to do is 
uh, install these batteries, uh, load up the van with my stuff, and get out of here, guys. My plan is to find the next place I want to live. Um, I'm sell selling my house here, as some of you guys know, and uh, that should be sold pretty quickly. A lot of houses are selling pretty fast around here, so. Um, but I'm going to hand the keys over to the real estate agent, and I'm heading down uh, south. I'm checking out some houses, some mountain houses in the western uh, North Carolina region and the eastern Tennessee region. I'm probably going to rent an Airbnb in several areas in the mountains on, in North Carolina and Tennessee and see what I like best. Um, I'm also possibly thinking of taking a trip across the country and staring, staying in Airbnbs and other places as well. Um, so I'm not 100% sold on North Carolina or Tennessee, but it's high up there on my list. I'll, I'm going to take you guys along with me on my travels. I'll do videos along the way. Of course, I'm loading my motorcycle up in here. I was going to get a trailer for the van, but I decided not to. I don't like trailer in anything. And if one of the tires blows, I've got a trailer to deal with. I'd rather just have the van only. Just like I did in past bug out van trips, load the motorcycle, put a motorcycle sack around it, which has... Um, uh, charcoal vents on it to keep the motorcycle stink from getting in the van um, it's kind of irritating loading the van up you know taking stuff moving it out of the way and putting the motorcycle in and out but I'd rather do that than have to deal with a trailer so I can't wait to take my trip guys it's gonna be absolutely awesome like I said I'm gonna do some moto vlogs in various areas now for those of you guys who want to build a van set up like this I do have links to everything I use to build this van over at my website at cyclecruiser.com click on the menu tab my van stuff uh, and also included a link in the description and comment section of this video like I said total cost for this build less than 10,000 guys including the cost of the van you can't beat that with a stick it's been absolutely amazing I've taken two trips bug out trips across the country and back and I had a good time uh, now I have nothing holding me back here so it's time to hit the road and enjoy myself out there on the road and hopefully I find that new place to live um, I don't know about living in the mountains um, but we'll see like I said I'm gonna do some uh, you know test some rentals out out there and just see how I like it like I said share the experience with you guys if you have any comments leave a comment below and let's talk about it don't forget to subscribe on bug out moto uh, for those of you who haven't seen the tour of my bug out moto van I'll include that video link in the description and comment section of this video don't forget to subscribe to my all the one motorcycle channel over at youtube.com forward slash cycle cruiser and also like me at Facebook catch you guys later